Hey everybody, it's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. Today's date, March the 26th, 2019, and I have an update on the Viking Sky story that took place on the 23rd of March. That was the day that this ship lost power to all of four of her engines and she was helpless just off the coast of Norway and the reports have been coming out that had the anchor not held her in place the ship was a mere 300 meters away from crashing into the rocks and she would have been ripped apart like a tin can. It was uh, moments from disaster as the uh, details keep coming out. We've now found out that the uh, Coastal Express Ferry Services that run these ships here, they suspended service on the 23rd, the day of the incident. This ship did not even leave port and these are the kinds of ships that Norway has put in her waters to handle some real nasty weather. This, these ships can tackle all kinds of conditions but they didn't even go out on the morning that the Viking Sky did. Once the engines conked out, the ship was at the mercy of the waves. Passengers were injured, they were tossed around, and there have been all kinds of stories about injuries on board the ship. They uh, called in the Coast Guard with the helicopters and they lifted over 400 people off the ship, leaving still 850 on the ship by the time the ship was able to start moving again. Uh, but 36 people ended up in the hospital. Even today, three days after the incident, there are eight in the hospital, one in critical condition, and the hope is that seven of the eight will be released today sometime. The cruise line has taken responsibility here. They have housed people in hotels and have made arrangements to get them home, but now they are answering all kinds of questions from authorities in Norway as to what were you guys thinking taking this luxury cruise liner out in such harrowing conditions. Kudos to the folks who flew the helicopters and rescued all these people, but, um, you know, these helicopters could have run into trouble. Uh, they're mechanical instruments, too, and they were not flying in ideal conditions. There were a ton of people waiting on shore, of course, when the ship finally came into mold to, uh, to assist people, but again, over time, and, uh, you know, the, the expenses are just out of this world. The story goes that the ship itself, the uh, the Viking Sky, will remain in port until April the 6th. Her next cruise was cancelled. The home port for the ship is Bergen. Um, they're talking about getting her back to Bergen, uh, but at least, not at least for a week. Apparently Norwegian authorities won't let the ship leave at the moment. They're still investigating what's going on. Will there be charges laid? I don't know. We will find out if charges are going to be laid against the captain for what's happened here. Um, this is costing the cruise line millions of dollars and reputational harm. Of course, the PR is not good. We'll keep following the story. Uh, I'm on the air Monday to Friday, 5 o'clock Eastern, Saturdays at 2 Eastern. We talk cruise ships six days a week. We'll see what happens with the Viking Sky going forward. Subscribe to the channel today and we'll talk to you later, everybody. Bye for now.